Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today, we are gonna go to the library together. I am not loving the hat inside. My head is also very small, so hats always look silly, um, but it's a bad hair day, so the hat is essential. I wanted to bring you this video because there is a bit of a lack of library content, at least in my subscription feed, so I wanted to show you my library. I am very grateful to live in a town with an amazing public library and I guess you will see it very soon. Um, what I might do is when I get there I might do like an overview of the outside and stuff and give you some stats and how much money it cost because that is all readily available. <laughs> um, it's a big library. so. I currently have some books that I need to take back, so I thought I would show you those first. The only one I've read is Paper Girls Volume 1, which I read, um, god, a month ago, two months ago, and um, did enjoy it, but you know, it was a quick, easy experience. The other three books I haven't read, and I'm just not drawn to them right now, so if I'm going to be using my library, and it needs to be books I want to read more than my physical collection. So we have Half a World Away by Mike Gale. The Witch Elm by Tana French and Pet by Equaki Imezi. I hope I've said that right. Um, but yeah, there just wasn't anything. Oh, this was reserved for somebody in June. I guess they can keep that. Um, but yeah, all of these I know I can get if I go back to the library. So I'm not like upset about taking them back. So take those back. I have a couple things I want to do in town, um, which will be in my weekly vlog for this week. It, it will be uploaded at some point. You will see all the content of my trips outside into the real world. But this one is just going to be for the library. I have no real aims of what I want to get, but let's say I want a graphic novel of some sort, a, a YA book of some sort, and an adult book of some sort, I guess. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy coming with me. Okay guys, so here we are. This is the Hive of Worcester in England, if you're unaware. This golden monstrosity was opened by the Queen in July of 2012. It cost £29.7 million. According to Wikipedia, it houses over a quarter of a million books. And as you will have seen, it was a joint project for Worcestershire County Council and the University of Worcester, which is actually the university I went to. So not only did I spend most of my teenage years in here, I also spent all of my university time in here as well. Let's just head inside.
home and the hat is back on because hat hair but oh my god it's very muggy outside like it looks cold when you first step outside you're a little bit cold but I am very very warm very warm I hope I got enough footage of the library I did not visit the children's section and didn't look for middle grade books because I can't show you that I'll try and put a few photos on the screen of what the um, children's area looks like it's so good I will say I'm making this whole video like the hive is amazing um, but I have been told off by security twice there as a teenager um, for trying to read in the children's section there's cool booths and looking for a book in the adult section as a teenager the security presumed i was trouble look at me am i trouble no um but i have had some really good experiences in there and i am very lucky to have such a good library so yeah did not go into the middle grade section but i think one of the books might actually i've heard it being described as middle grade and ya so i started off in the manga and graphic novel section where i found a manga of jane eyre did not know this was a thing and I'm actually buddy reading the the actual Jane Eyre with Emily from Novel Novels not too far in the future so I thought this would be really cool to read Jane Eyre and then read the manga I don't know I'm cool with that I think that's fun and I'm kind of new to the whole world of reading backwards um so very excited by that then I found a graphic novel that I didn't know existed and that is Vampire Academy I love the Vampire Academy series. I obviously know the story completely. Um, I've read all of the books, some of them multiple times, but did not know this was a thing and quick and easy for when I want a little pick me up. The book that I think straddles uh, middle grade and YA is Smart by Kim Slater. I've heard good things about this um, from a few people. And all those end pages, look at those. Is that focusing? I hope it is. This says, there's been a murder, but the police don't care. It was only a homeless old man after all. Kieran cares he's going to find out what really happened to the homeless man and to his grandma who just stopped coming round one day. It's a good job Kieran's a master of observation and knows all the detective tricks of the trade. But being a detective is difficult when you're Kieran Woods, when you're amazing at drawing but terrible at fitting in, and when there are dangerous secrets everywhere, not just outside but under your own roof. And I have heard great things, um, so when I saw it up on the shelf, I grabbed it. The definitely YA books, we have Toffee by Sarah Crossan. So I've read one and we come apart both by sarah crossan and these are told in verse so again a very quick book hopefully this says allison has run away from home with nowhere to live she finds herself hiding in the shed of what she thinks is an abandoned house except the house isn't empty an elderly woman marla lives there she is lonely and often confused she mistakes allison for a friend from her past called toffee and invites her in Used to hiding who she is and trying to be someone else, Toffee is who Alison becomes. But as she realises how much Marla needs a real friend, she begins to ask, where is home? What does family mean? And who am I really? This now does sound like adult, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. It looks cool. And then I found Full Disclosure, which is bent, oh no, by Cameron Garrett. And this is, uh, Simone has got high, high school down. She's made friends, she's directing the school musical and she's making out with Miles, the most attractive boy in school. She's also HIV positive and that complicates things because the last time she told anyone, the fallout was devastating. And when Simone finds an anonymous threat in her locker threatening to turn her world upside down, she begins to wonder if the only way to rise above is to face the haters head on. And quite sure, feel like it's gonna pack a punch though. And I've seen this around and heard good things. Then we went to adult and I have no reason why I got this one really but I got The Lucky Escape by Laura Jane Williams which yes sounds great Rachel you're gonna be excited but I have Our Stop and The Love Square and haven't read them yet and still grab this so whatever and then the last one is Six Tudor Queens uh, number one Catherine of Aragon The True Queen by Alison Weir and this is dirty <laughs> <laughs> like it's so beat up um but there was this or there was the hardback and the hardback was so heavy so i got the paperback one um my nan gave me book number five in the series so i decided that i was going to read them all um 
starting with number one which i've got from the library in case i hate it um but i don't know not my typical cup of tea but really i think that was an extremely productive trip to the library i am just trying to stack it all while i'm talking but there are too many books okay i got all of these out of the library um as I just said, I am so grateful to live in a place where these are like all readily available. You will have seen in the footage some of the books there. It's like mad that they're in the library, brand new releases. Uh, I even saw Way of the Argosi by Sebastian de Castel, which I'm pretty sure is, or is it Fall of the Argosi is new? I don't know. Either way, it's a pretty new book. Um, so yeah, I'm so grateful to live in a place where this is possible. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure it was that great because I chickened out of actually vlogging in public, but at least I got some B-roll. Um, let me know, do you use your local library? Do you want to visit mine instead? Cause it looks great. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.